raw moments in court as the family of a murder victim confronts one of the suspects in his death. Nobody can know the excruciating pain that this family has gone through. New tonight, we found out the defendant's last minute request and why she won't be free from prison anytime soon. Today, an Orange County judge sentenced April Coger to more than 17 years behind bars. She is one of two suspects linked to a robbery spree that ended with the death of a social worker about a year ago. New right now at 5, Channel 9's Michael Aparty is live outside the dialysis clinic where the victim was killed. And Michael, this was an emotional day for his family and friends. Martha, some of his co-workers are still struggling with his death. They tell me the victim was shot right here in the parking lot. He was able to make it through the front door of his place of employment here, covered in blood, and it's an image they still can't get out of their head. 25-year-old April Coger wiped away tears today in court, but the real emotion came from the family of Gregory Whitbeck, who was shot and killed outside this dialysis clinic in December of 2016. The pain that this situation has put us through the agony has broken our family apart, big time. Whitbeck's death left a mother without her son and a teenage daughter without her father. Everybody loved him. He was the big teddy bear that everybody loved. An Orange County judge sentenced Coger to 17 and a half years in prison as part of a plea deal. Investigators say Coger and boyfriend Kenny Cheney went on a crime spree, robbing two others that morning before killing Whitbeck in the parking lot. Witnesses say Coger was the driver and detectives used a GPS in the car to link her to the crimes. It's tough and it will always be tough for not just me, for pretty much everybody at the clinic. Today we went back to the clinic where the victim worked and found co-workers still struggling with his death. I don't think anybody has healed on that because this is something that you'll never forget death especially somebody that you're so close to just yesterday the judge received a letter from Coger asking to delay sentencing so she could transfer custody of her children and say goodbye the judge denied the request and ordered her to stay behind bars so if Coger serves out her full term, she luckily won't get out of prison until she's at least 41 years old. Her boyfriend, the other suspect in this case, is being tried separately. Reporting live in Orange County, Michael Loparty, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.